So we are so excited. We're in the cafeteria in the uh, Congress, and we see there's a wonderful group. In fact, there's hundreds of you here yeah. today. We're here for Muslim Advocate Today, Muslim Pill Day. And there's about 700 um, advocates signed up to come advocate for peace and talk to our elected, elected officials and remind them who they work for and what morality is, and it seems like they've forgotten. And so we're here as delegation to remind them of that, and we're inspired by the work that Code Pink does, and we're here to talk about what's happening in Palestine. The Axe Files is to stop using our money, our taxpayer dollars, to fund this genocide. When you go into the congressional offices, what are the asks that you have? One, one of them is protecting students' rights to free speech on campus. At Ohio State University, what's been happening is 41 people were arrested for peacefully protesting while they were praying. Most of the people here today were also forcibly uh, taken away, beaten by police officers while we were just pro protesting peacefully on campus. Students, alumni, community members, everybody whose eyes are on Gaza right now. An unconditional humanitarian aid to Gaza, um, an unconditional ceasefire to Gaza. So we're fighting for these three things to protect our First Amendment rights, to get that aid into Gaza, and to stop the killing. I'm the founder and president of Students for Justice in Palestine at the University of Cincinnati. Uh, we were in coalition with the Ohio State University, University of Toledo, Miami University, and Denison University to uh, launch our encampment. And we lasted for about six hours before Ohio brought up militarized police, state troopers. There was two snipers on top of our university buildings, and they brought out search helicopters as well. They uh, forcefully mass arrested 41 individuals. And when they were doing so, they were ripping off people's hijabs, forcing them to strip search in front of male officers, and they brutally assaulted and attacked many of us here. We also have the bruises and the injuries and sores from them brutally attacking us. While we were in the middle of our evening prayer of Aisha, uh, there was multiple students who were Muslim there, and the chants went from disclosed, divest, we will not stop, we will not rest, to let them pray for about an hour of them assaulting and brutally attacking all of us. Um, and we wanted to let you guys know to keep an eye out on Ohio because we will continue to mobilize and we ask for them to drop the charges and continue supporting student movements all across the U.S. at this time.